Hi, Regina Sanchez, your health wellness organizational coach, believing in you. Uh, today, I want to make some lemonade from lemons and give you um, step number two in building your immune system. It's, it's you know crucial and very critical to um, your health these days. It is the new up-and-coming science that um, you know has been out for a while. It's not like it just got um, discovered you know in the past 30 days or so. But it's um, it is a science that not that is not necessarily um, taught by the traditional medicine doctors or, or understanding the traditional medicine doctors. There's still a uh, pill, uh, you know, dealing uh, establishment. But um, if you, you know, were to go into the health realm of your uh, traditional medicine doctor or your, excuse me, not your traditional medicine doctor, your functional medicine doctor or your naturopathic doctor uh, or your or chiropractic medicine, that you will find that they are looking at other uh, means uh, for you know, illnesses, you know, happening. And especially in the functional medicine arena where they won't just uh, look at your symptom and, number one, prescribe you a drug. That's not what they're going to do. But they, you know, look at your issues, your medical issues, and they say, let's, let's get to the root of this issue. Let's not um, just try to mask it, even with a, a natural means, even with a supplement. Uh, we are going to learn why you are dealing with this issue. And we're going to get to the root of it. And I, you know, promise one of the things they would look at would be your immune system. How is your, is your immune system strong? So the step number two, I talked about in, in step number one, the importance of eliminating sugar. And if you are a massive sugar addict, you know, it is best to try to eliminate it completely. And maybe once you get your immune system back in, you know, in control and you feel like, you know, you're not constantly fighting illnesses and battles that you can, um, can then give up or, or, you know, implement a little bit of sugar into your, into your system, um, you know, selectively. But I, I highly recommend that if you are uh, truly addicted to sugar that you, you know, truly try to work on eliminating that. But step number two for today, I want to talk about, you know, getting enough sleep and reducing stress. This is very critical that when your body is stressed, and, and that is why, one of the reasons why I... Um, got trained as a health coach in my organize, with my organizing business because I found that women, and, and there's studies that show this out from UCLA, UCLA um, and Southern California did a study on this years ago, that you know women who lived amongst clutter had high cortisol levels. Um, and having high cortisol levels obviously trigger a number of diseases like diabetes, cancer, heart disease, so on and so forth. So it's important for you, especially in this time that we are in right now, with all the upheavals happening, not only in your, your, your community, your state, our nation, but the world. And for some, it can be pretty frightening, uh, the unknown. I, I know for me, unknowns, I don't like. It does, you know, I, I literally have to battle fear every day because you know, because of issues from my past, being in a situation of not knowing what's going to happen can be terrorizing for me. So I've worked a lot of years trying to eliminate that. And uh, in this situation that's happening right now, uh, as I said in my prior video, I am not afraid of this virus. I am not afraid I'm going to catch the virus. I'm not afraid of being around people you know, that might have the virus. I have no fear of it. I feel like my immune system is strong enough to fight it. Um, and, and God forbid, if I get it, I feel like my immune system is strong enough to eliminate it from, from my body without, you know, killing me. I honestly, you know, I'm there. But, you know, I have battled fear. And I, I honestly, I've had m more times when this first all came down, um, you know, with the threat of shutting the nation down, with, oh my gosh, uh, I how am I gonna work? How am I gonna make money? So that terror was real for me, but I did get through it. 
and I am at peace and I, I am at rest and I have a strong faith and I know that my God is not going to let me get harmed by all of this. So it is important to, number one, get good sleep. Get good uh, means to eliminate the stress when you are feeling it rise up in you because it will um, during these very, very uncertain times. So for me, which, uh, you know, I think of an, in, it's an indication that I, I, like I kind of gotten beyond that uh, fear of, of uh, the financial aspect of my life because I am sleeping like a baby. Uh, and I, I, I have battled sleep issues for a lot, uh, a lot of years. It started, never had a problem until I started going through my divorce and it lasted until really kind of recently. It was always on and off, but it didn't take much to, you know, trigger my, trigger my adrenal glands to boom, set me off to cause me to be wide awake. You know, I hit the pillow and boom, I'm gone, I'm out. But, you know, then hours later I can be up like I had a full night um, of sleep. So that's been an issue for me. It's been a battle for me. And I have been able um, through all of this to, to be sleeping like a baby. And I attribute that to a number of things. I attribute it to choosing to not be in fear. And I'm not, you know, it's not easy. And I'm, I'm not saying it's an easy thing. It has taken a while for me to get to that point. Um, I... You know, I, tr I have a very strong faith and I believe that, you know, the Lord's with me and he's protecting me and that he is going to get me through this, even though I don't see how at this point, uh, but I have that faith that he will. Um, I use essential oils. Uh, I, you know, I have a whole realm of oils that I use, you know, and I think, you know, I need, I think we need to find the oils that work for us because they don't always work. You know, what may work for me may not work for you. But, you know, I have a battery of oils. I go to bed every night diffusing oils right by my bed. Um, I have some um, roller bottles that I apply, you know, to my body before I go to bed. I have roller bottles that are sort of, you know, that help with stress if it does come upon me. Um, that I may rub on my body or I, I may, you know, inhale it to calm my brain down. Um, but I think it's important to really look at those issues um, in your life right now, it, you know, and if sleep is one of them, it is so important. Um, sleep and stress is so important to try to work that through so that you can get a good night's sleep, so that you can calm down, you know, adrenal glands from not, you know, working too hard to cause you down the road to be out of balance and, you know, have um, other medical issues that may come upon you. So I am, I'm here to help, I'm here to chat with you. As I said in my other video, um, I, you know, have a 30-minute free consult. I'm extending that to however much time you need uh, to chat with me on the phone. I would be happy to chat with you to kind of help you maybe get on track, to help you see where you may be tripping up with what issues uh, there may be that's causing you to not sleep uh, and having high levels of stress to maybe help you find ways to navigate that to calm your systems down. Um, but it's important. It's important right now to do that. And if you are um, not sleeping and you are stressed, sugar is really something you need to avoid, really, in your in your uh, diet right now. So once again, uh, I'm here to help. I, I, you know, it grieves me to see so many people being terrorized right now, uh, living in fear, and uh, not sure. You know, is their health secure? Is their job secure? Uh, is their family going to be secure and safe? I know it's a frightening time, but we can get through it. We will get through it. We will be better off. And I am here to help. So uh, feel free to contact me. Let's have that conversation. Let's get you started. Um, and know that um, you can get through this. Thanks for listening, taking the few minutes to, to listen to me. And I hope you are well. Thanks again.